morning students good morning sir okay so can you give me one or two points what we discussed in the last class as a part of uh, historiography and historical method sir about delhi sultanate Dynast five dynasties. No, no, I am not asking about uh, paper one. Uh, I am asking about second paper two, history graph and history graph. Nature of history. Yeah, right. Okay, so in the last class uh, we discussed about uh, the nature of history uh, and also uh, the modern concept of history. Okay, so as a uh, part of uh, Uh, this uh, uh, nature of history we had uh, uh, no no after uh, completion of the na uh, nature of history we uh, discussed uh, in the last class about uh, history as a science or uh, uh, social science right so in the last class we discussed about science or social science uh, the history comes under uh, uh, science or social science and uh, we have we already uh discussed about uh, uh the two arguments uh and uh, particularly uh, the arguments uh, uh, suggesting about history comes under the science and uh, uh, those arguments we also discussed uh, about not uh, supporting history as a uh, science okay so uh when we already uh, discussed uh, one or two uh, arguments uh, uh why the history comes uh, uh, should be uh, comes under a science okay so because history is a science uh, in the sense that uh, uh, it uh, uh, pursues it, uh, its own uh, techniques uh, uh, its own techniques to establish uh, and interpret the facts here okay so you have to be a uh, depend on the truth basically uh, truths are nothing but the clear cut uh, uh, evidences nothing but the witness okay so it definitely uh, depends on the witness then you can interpret in your own way okay so the interpretation may be in the scientific form okay so uh, that's why you definitely have some uh, um uh, you have to use some scientific uh, techniques here uh, like uh, uh, the basic uh, reference you cannot change okay so the basic reference is the same and you can identify through following various uh, scientific techniques and based on that uh, uh, reference uh, you have to interpret uh, the event on your ideology on your Uh, your own, uh, you, you use your uh, own interpretation there. Okay, so uh, like uh, uh, other natural sciences such as the physics or chemistry uh, uses various methods of inquiry. Okay, so such as observation, classification, and also experiment, formulation. All these you see in the natural science, but you cannot see all these. as a part of uh, history but you definitely use some scientific scientific techniques to interpret a uh, witness or uh, the truth okay so and uh, you definitely follow some myth hypothesis here uh, uh, it's uh, it's nothing but a imaginary view you have to be uh, go through some imaginary view when you are uh, interpreting a event or anything okay so and uh, history also follows uh, Uh, the scientific method of inquiry to find out the truth okay so sometimes uh, 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 in the uh, uh, chronological order uh, you, you want to arrange the events in a chronological order and you can uh, you have to be get uh, the exact uh, time period or the time sphere and uh, you have some confusion uh, whenever some uh, artifacts are not uh, available uh and uh, uh, you can depend on certain primary uh, it, it is some uh, confusion about uh, 
the fixing of the dates here. So then you can use some scientific methods. Okay, so by uh, depending on carbon fourteen, uh, radio carbon uh, radio carbon uh, dating like that. And uh, while preserving the documents, also you definitely follow some scientific methods. Okay, so you definitely use the scientific uh, scientific method, and you have to be uh, identify some artifacts or any uh, remains uh, in the uh, in the underground or at uh, any uh, deep oceans are like that. You definitely use some scientific methods. Okay, so for following some laser. identification and uh, uh, radio carbon dating likewise you definitely use some uh, 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 scientific methods and uh, so by observing these you can say that uh, history uh, must be comes under the uh, science okay so and uh, some of the uh, arguments we already uh, discussed uh, and uh, they are not uh, supporting um, Uh, history as a uh, science, and uh, because uh, no forecasting you will see in the history, and uh, uh, it's a totally complex one. The facts of history are very complicated. Okay, so uh, they can uh, repeat in the real sense of uh, term, and uh, you also see uh, history varied one. Okay, say varied one. The underlying facts of history have wide scope. Okay, so you cannot have. Uh, a limited scope here. You have the wide, a broad uh, scope here, and they are so varied that they can uh, seldom to uniform. And no observation and experimentation you find, and no dependable data you see. You can depend on some uh, data here, and uh, particularly the historical data or the empirical data. Uh, the produces. Uh, are the data are products of human thoughts and action, uh, which are constantly changing. Okay, so like uh, because uh, history, you can see history uh, uh, as a uh, uh, as a science, but it uh, in the eyes of history, the whole society as a laboratory. Okay, so you cannot have any a limited space or any artificial uh, laboratory to. Follow the experiments or uh, any uh, like uh, the natural where in the natural science or uh, biological science are follows. Okay, so and uh, no dependable data you see in the uh, history. So that based on these uh, reasons, these factors, you cannot uh, say you 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 can say that history not comes under any science. Okay. So these are the things we uh, discussed in the last class, and today uh, we'll see the scope of history and the aims and uh, objectives of history. Okay. So after completion of this, you'll move to the history relation with other social sciences, and uh, then you'll go to other uh, in interpretations of history and schools of uh, historiography of all those. Okay. So today, today I have to, uh, uh, I have to. Uh, give you about uh, uh, first of all the scope uh, uh, scope of history and then I'll move to aims and objectives of history. Okay, so before going to that, uh, I have to uh, share my screen and uh, then I'll continue my lecture. students are you getting my screen yes sir yeah right so here the scope in the sense you can uh, say uh, uh, in the in, in the words of or uh, uh, in the spheres of time or a territory are like that okay so uh, whenever you uh, are going to any uh, history particularly any regional or uh universal or the world history you definitely have some uh, limited uh, space okay so space 
is nothing but the period okay the space is nothing but the territory or the region okay so uh, you cannot uh, say in every way uh, about the whole uh, world history or about the whole uh, indian history or about the whole your regional or the uh, regional history nothing but the telangana okay so telangana history because uh, there are certain uh, scopes you will see okay so where the limited period and uh, limit limited region or territory in the uh, uh, comes under the scope of the history okay so the scopes means the areas covered by the subject first of all okay so subject is nothing but the history okay so here the when you see uh, as a part of the general dimension and covering area of the subject of history to narrate what happened first of all and to discuss how it happened and to analyze what uh, why it happened okay so it's a basic uh, uh, questions while moving uh, with a particular uh, history okay so you have to be uh, to narrate what happened first of all okay so anything happened in the past of a particular reason of a particular uh, 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 particular period okay so first of all the question you arise or you can raise is nothing but to what happened first of all okay so here the scope of history is uh, is a vast one okay so uh, it is the story of a man first of all and the relation to uh, totality of his uh, is overall behavior and because uh, we are studying a man's history uh, means we have to be uh, cover from the uh, things from his origin okay so origin in the sense we have to be start from the prehistoric cultures okay so as a part of prehistoric cultures we have to start the history from the paleolithic and mesolithic neolithic chalcolithic and the protohistory okay so uh, uh, likewise you have to study from the origin right so then you have to see his behavior first of all okay his attitude okay so then you have to see his ideas right so these are the basic things you have to see in the uh, history as a scope okay so the scope of history means the breadth the breadth breadth in the sense the broadness okay so breadth the comprehensiveness variety and extent of learning experiences and provided by the study okay so learning of experiences provided by the uh, study and history which was only limited to a local saga uh, has during the course of a century became universal history of mankind depicting man's achievements in uh, every uh, field of uh, life nothing but the political economic uh, social cultural scientific uh, uh, technological everything everything uh, comes under the history and at various levels local regional national and uh, uh, world okay so you have to be uh, go through such things uh, according to the scope according to the scope of a period or the scope of the reason right so it start with the past uh, makes uh, the present it uh, uh, present it as a sheet anchor and points to the future okay so these are the basic things right so uh, we already discussed about uh, the ehs car eh car definition the history is nothing but an ending dialogue between the past and present where uh, past is nothing but the events uh, which are arranged uh, in a chronological order present is nothing but in uh, you definitely see the history here okay so the the continuous dialogue you will see okay the continuity you will see in this okay so the history definitely depend on a historian because historian is a not sometimes is not he is not a he is not a contemporary okay so he depends on certain uh, sources he, uh, he depends on certain sources or evidences he interpret the history he write the history okay so uh, historian and uh, 
the uh, things which happened in the past at a continuous uh, uh, link. Okay, so uh, here uh, you have to be. Uh, it start with the past basically. So history start with the past and uh, makes uh, present as a uh, a sheet. Uh, okay, so like a sheet anchor, you have to take the support of uh, the present uh, uh, conditions and points to the future. Okay, so this is the basic things you have to be uh, follow uh, while uh, read. Are uh, right in the history and uh, events like wars, any uh, struggles or revolutions, uh, rise and fall of empires, and uh, any uh, things of what happens, uh, 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 events taking place uh, 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 with uh, 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 with adjoining to uh, particular empires, uh, emperors or uh, uh, any kings or rulers, uh, and uh, as well as the masses in, in general. Uh, in, uh, people of uh, common people in general are all the subject matter of history. Okay, so everything, everything comes under the history. Not only a, uh, uh, not only a wars or battles, and not only a, uh, 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 events which are related to particular uh, emperor or a particular ruler or a king, or even not uh, things which uh, only uh, related to a particular court. Uh, uh, um, uh, courts of particular rulers or anything. Okay, so as a part of history, you have to uh, see everything. Okay, so the things which related to the society. Okay, so as a part of society, you will see everything. Is uh, 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 you see the society, social structure, and the divisions in the society, and also the traditions in the society, customs, and uh, religion. The economical status, uh, everything. Okay, so everything you will see as a part of history, not only you say history of the elites. Okay, so you have to see the history of the common people also. Okay, so how they uh, get the livelihood, uh, how uh, uh, on which they depend on uh, uh, particular good habits or like that. Okay, so uh, you have to see where they uh, uh, live. Okay, so all this comes under a uh, part of uh, history, right? So here, history of geography, history of art, history of culture, history of literature, civilization, religion, uh, sciences, all uh, education, uh, everything, everything is, is a part of uh, history as social, physical, uh, natural science, everything, everything which comes under the part of Okay, so next when you see, uh, discuss how it happened. Okay, you also uh, see in the history uh, how it happens. Okay, so anything happened in the past, uh, you can see as a historian, uh, yeah, as as a uh, part of uh, the uh, 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 present. Uh, you can definitely you have some uh, questions, uh, uh, basic questions, how it happens. Okay, so any uh, reasons behind it, any factors uh, behind it, any things which are responsible to be uh, uh, responsible for happening of a uh, particular uh, thing. Okay, so and uh, to analyze why it happened. Okay, so then you have to move to the how it happened. Okay, so why it happened, and we have to analyze analyze uh, in various uh, um, uh, sides. Okay, so the next one is uh, two areas of uh, scope of function, and uh, uh, where history has mainly two functions to perform. One is the collection of data, and collection of data is somewhat uh, a typical thing uh, as a uh, part of writing history because uh, uh, you, you you cannot uh, 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 this uh, the collection of data the data uh, is not available. Uh, because uh, uh, no proper uh, documentation has taken place uh, in the past. When you see as a part of Indian history and uh, uh, as a part of regional history uh, within the boundaries of India, uh, you cannot uh, have such uh, uh, documentation because uh, uh, such historical sense was uh, some, uh, you see some absence of uh, 
uh, historical sense in the ancient and medieval times. And uh, yet this juncture, you had some uh, um, uh, scarcity of uh, this uh, uh, data and based on the available things, based on the available data, you have to adjust uh, these uh, uh, data, if say primary or secondary or anything. Okay. So you have to be uh, prepared. And the uh, interpretation of the data, first of all. Okay. So whenever the data is available, you have to be interpreted. You have to be analyzed. Okay. By analyzing the data, you go to or uh, you have to write the history or you have to read the history. Okay. So these are uh, things you will see as a part of uh, uh, as a part of scope. And uh, uh, we'll see uh, when you see the developmental stages of uh, uh, scope of history. We, we have the four uh, stages uh, in the uh, development as a part of uh, scope of history. And in the first stage, uh, descriptive catalog of political events. Okay, so catalog of political events in the sense you have to be arranged these uh, uh, events which taken place in the past according to the time period. Okay, so according to the period, right? So you cannot uh, uh, shuffle uh, from one period to another. Okay, so you cannot insert uh, industrially in between the uh, Gupta and uh, uh, Mauryas. Okay, so you have to be fit, you have to be uh, insert uh, uh, those uh, events according to the year bound or according to the time bound. And uh, the second stage is great man history was written. Okay, so first of all, uh, everyone knows about the great man, uh, great personalities. And uh, then only you go to the unknown, right? So you have to be highlight, first of all, the known personalities or the great personalities, like the great emperors or rulers are like that. Uh, then you will move to unknown things. Okay, those, that's why in the history, uh, first of all, highlighted the political history. Okay, so political history is uh, the basic thing you have to know first of all. And because uh, after the highlighting the political, you have to be highlight the economy or social or administration or like that. Okay, so uh, here, first of all, as a part of history, as a part of scope of history, you have to highlight uh, the great man history first of all. Okay, so as a part of second stage, the economic history have been written. Okay, so after the quality, you have to be highlight the uh, economical uh, things or the financial uh, status. And as a part of both uh, social aspects of human history have been written. Okay, so the society, you have to highlight the, the society. When you are moving to society, it's nothing but a common man history. Okay, so it's nothing but a, a lower class system. Okay, so because these common man or a lower class, uh, maybe uh, a uh, servants or any labor uh, 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 who worked in the fields and who uh, grown various crops and who supplies these uh, to uh, the various uh, the various uh, uh, departments or sections in the uh, particular empire or like that. Okay, so then you finally highlight the society. Okay, so as a part of society, it tries to cover the daily life of common man. Okay, so how, uh, what the food they consume and what uh, dwellings they follow, where they live first of all, and uh, what uh, uh, on what basis they uh, uh, follow certain settlements. Okay, so all these are see, you can see uh, as a part of history by one by one, right? So and. Uh, uh, then uh, we'll move to, uh, uh, as a part, we'll see uh, uh, there are certain uh, changes or development taken place as a history in the 21st century. And uh, as a part of 21st century, the scope of history includes all activities of man. Okay, so everything, everything comes under the history. And it looks beyond religion to folklore and the arts look beyond government to people and look beyond loss to legend. And uh, common man and his life now attracting the attention of a uh, uh, historian and also covered as one of the major scope of history. And uh, study of economic change and social change and cultural change gaining importance. 
and uh, studying nature also comes within the scope of it okay so as a part of that uh, you have already one uh, 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 paper also okay so uh, there are certain uh, uh, add on uh, things and uh, some uh, extended uh, uh, areas are concerned uh, history within the 21st century where the environmental and the science and technology uh, which included uh, uh, under the is part okay so you have already one uh, paper regarding the iruna environmental issue of modern india i think uh, as a uh, five or fifth paper okay so as a part of uh, 21st century with these uh, the uh, uh, unknown or uh, next also comes from the is okay so this is uh, about uh, the uh, scope of history and uh, where uh, the as a the part of 21st century everything the common men uh, given the importance okay so where the subalterns uh, who highlighted the uh, common men's uh, is okay so this is about uh, uh, scope of history and uh, uh, i will uh, give you about aims and objectives to study of history and uh, uh, write of history and i will end my class today okay so i will uh, again uh, 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 again share my screen regarding uh, uh, aims and objectives of history and then i will continue my lecture <laughs> okay students are you getting yes sir okay right so aims and uh, objectives of history and uh, then we will uh, move to uh, uh, other things and i will complete uh, with uh, uh, this concept aims and objectives and uh, the aims and objectives of uh, history have undergone uh, changes like uh, 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 the scope Uh, according to the uh, period, uh, these uh, changes has taken place. Not only in the history, every uh, subject has certain changes, and likewise, history also undergone some uh, changes with uh, shift in the philosophical thinking of the time and changes in the social and political practices. And uh, education uh, is the process of bringing about uh, uh, these uh, desirable changes. Uh, in the behavior of a particular uh, readers of history or students are like that okay so the idea of desirable changes has varied uh, at different times in accordance with uh, uh, dominant philosophical creed of society and uh, uh, prevalent social and political practices okay so when you see the determination of aims and objectives uh, is necessary to point to the broad ideas and to enable us in a selecting significant and many meaningful uh, content and uh, uh, you also see as a scholar or student uh, you follow certain teaching methods and uh, techniques are like that and uh, aims are a, a true compass to make our journey uh, journey in the sense to make our uh, knowing of history um, uh, safe and secure uh first of all and uh, uh, some uh, they are the key of the entire process of uh, the uh, writing and uh, writing and the aims of uh, history will have to be in uh, some common uh, consonance uh, with the broader aims of education and objectives uh, which uh, the historians should view while uh, teaching or giving the subject have to be precise and uh, definite and uh, uh, these uh, aims refer to general and long term goals uh, whereas the objectives indicate uh, the immediate and uh, specific uh, uh, attainable goals okay so aims may be uh, for uh, it's uh, for a long uh, purpose uh, long uh, uh, tenure okay so objective indicates only the immediate uh, uh, goals okay 
so when you see the general uh, aims first of all uh, aims of uh, teaching discipline and uh, uh, i will give you these uh, one by one and first of all okay so uh, uh, provide uh, opportunities uh, for scientific study and uh, creativity within a global context that will stimulate and challenge the uh, students or any uh, uh, any enthusiasts okay so and uh, here provide opportunities for scientific study and creativity within a global context okay so and also uh, uh, there are uh, other uh, things like uh, uh, aims like uh, provide a body of knowledge methods and uh, uh, techniques that uh, characterize science and uh, technology also okay so where here uh, first of all uh, uh, to give proper conception of time and uh, space and society where the history uh, gives a proper understanding of the concept of time and uh, space and society and it reveals the relationship of the present and with the past uh, uh, with the past the local uh, with the distance and uh, uh, personal and national life with the lives uh, and cultures of men women, uh, women uh, in the other parts of a particular nation or in time and space okay so history is a, a link uniting each of us as an individual with a whole greater than our lives okay so and uh, uh, it is also gives you some uh, 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 wish and uh, uh, where uh, enable the students students or readers uh, anyone who going through the history and enable uh, to apply and use a body of knowledge uh, methods and techniques that characterize uh, science and technology what we uh, discuss and uh, uh, develop an ability to analyze and evaluate uh, synthesize the scientific information information okay so here uh, you should have some uh, uh, important uh, uh, things like uh, you should have some uh, promote uh, this uh, 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 this uh, uh, ability to analyze okay so you have to analyze evaluate the uh, things which you have available as a part of the sobers or uh, evidence okay so and uh, uh, you have to and to develop some uh, 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 develop some international understanding also and uh, where the shift uh, growth of means of communication among various uh, uh, regions has uh, extend the exchange of ideas and uh, uh, dependence on each other on various aspects of life and history is one subject that can promote uh, some uh, 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 international uh, understanding or universal understanding in the best possible way and it can uh, destroy some uh, prejudice uh, existing among the nations and it can also overplay the fundamental unity and uh, interdependence uh, dependence among nations and uh, uh, underplay the source of uh, uh, disunity and this also the main uh, aim and another one is uh, 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 engender an awareness of the need for and uh, value of uh, and effective collaboration and uh, uh, communication during the scientific uh, uh, activities okay so because it can uh, uh, teach some uh, things like uh, uh, where uh, they have to be create some awareness regarding the gender and also some ethics but particularly the ethical values and also having uh, create some uh, uh, awareness uh, among the certain uh, collaborations on the uh, basic uh, basis of uh, scientific uh, activities okay so and uh, the history also uh, develop experimental and investigative scientific skills okay so you have to be uh, develop uh, uh, some experimental uh, skills okay so and uh, investigative skills okay you have number of uh, uh, methods to identify particular uh, uh, things uh, which happened in the past and you have to identify the truth and you have to identify 
the exact things by following some the experiments and uh, investigation it should be on the scientific skills and uh, develop and apply the uh, the readers information and uh, uh, communication technology skills in the study of the science okay so and you also raise the awareness of moral ethical social economic and environmental implication of using this science and uh, 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 things okay so and uh, uh, you also have some uh, other uh, things like uh, develop uh, uh, this appreciation of the possibilities and limitations uh, associated uh, with the history of the historians and encourage an understanding of relationship between the scientific disciplines and uh, uh, uh over uh, arching nature of uh, scientific method okay so and uh, uh, apart from this i have to give you another uh, things like uh, another uh, uh, aims like uh, uh, to give to enable the uh, the readers or uh, the writers or the historians to uh, students to assess the values and achievements of uh, their own age okay so history provides the uh people uh, the standards of reference against uh, which they can measure the values and achievements of their own age and this enables them to have enlightened awareness of the problems and of a modern communities political and uh, social and uh, economical aspects and uh, the history also teach the uh, tolerance and uh, the history uh, teaches tolerance and tolerance with different faith different loyalties different cultures and different ideas and ideals also you will see and uh, that history also uh, gives some scope to develop right attitudes and uh, development of right attitude is a uh, is based on a appreciation of things uh, which are worth uh, while in life and attitudes depend upon the intellectual and emotional factors and uh, scientific attitude is intellectual like the judgmental judgment base on facts are unaffected by personal feelings and uh, uh, the teacher or a historian has to help his uh, students or any learners uh, in building up right attitudes and but before uh, being able to develop desirable attitudes among these people by his own uh, example see himself must be exhibit uh, self control patience sympathy and self respect self respect like uh, uh, right attitudes to be uh, followed and uh, which is also uh, 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 to foster national feelings and an important object of uh, uh, the teaching or learning and writing the histories the emotional and national integration of a uh, particular people okay so you say uh, it's a regional or it's a uh, the national history okay so emotional integration is a feeling of oneness among the people of different cultures religions castes and languages okay so it is the sharing of certain common objectives uh, ideals and purposes and giving them high place over small and uh, sectional loyalties uh, history can play a very important role in realizing this uh, particular aim and uh, uh, it is also Uh, develop uh, international understanding okay the shift growth of means of communication among various nations has uh, uh, which uh, uh, has can the exchange of ideas and dependence on each uh, other on various aspects of the life and uh, uh, to give training for handling controversial issues okay so history uh, you definitely have some controversial issues Uh, whether in the uh, past or uh, uh, in the present scenario you definitely have some controversial uh, events and the controversial interpretations okay so the teaching is to helps uh, uh, the people particularly the student or a writer to handle the controversial questions in a spirit that sets for the truth uh, insists on free discussion and permits compromise and it can expose the people to vast knowledge uh, which will enable them to tackle controversial issues also okay so and uh, uh, to impart mental training and uh, it can stimulate thought judgment and uh, discrimination 
and create a scientific attitude in the uh, uh, as a as a counterbalance to his emotional uh, instability it trains the uh, uh, students or uh, any learner to be accurate in comprehension and some exp expression right and uh, Uh, it teaches some uh, moral principles uh, where we already discussed about uh, the the uh, history can uh, while uh, reading the history you can have some moral uh, principle ethics and uh, you definitely follow okay so where the truthfulness courageous and selfless selflessness you will get uh, and uh, it is also help uh, resolve our contemporary social and individual problems history helps in resolving our contemporary social individual problems and developing nature uh, judgments on immediate social issues trends and the prospects in the field of commerce industry uh, international affairs are all those okay so and to promote socialization among the people and uh, an important aim of history teaching is the socialization of people in order to make uh, them well informed and uh, enlightened citizens okay so capable uh, for promoting uh, common welfare socialization awakens a sense of developing confidence courage and uh, happiness within oneself okay so like uh, uh, these are certain uh, uh, things uh, where uh, these are uh, uh, certain games uh, uh, you will get uh, while following with the uh, uh, script okay students uh, i will end up my class uh, uh, with this concept and uh, tomorrow uh, i will continue with the uh, objectives and uh, uh, then the history relation with the uh, other social sciences we'll see the, the, those two uh, concepts in, in the next class tomorrow's class okay so students are you hearing yes sir okay so i will end up my class now and uh, you have any clarification or any uh, doubts regarding my class you can ask me now. nothing sir nothing okay so i will uh, uh, stop my class uh, at this moment and uh, uh, we have another uh, class uh, i will uh, uh, I uh, start my class after 15 or uh, 20 minutes uh, uh, later right okay sir okay thank you running my class now